first and four. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirk Montgomery. First at four, Republican leaders are delaying a vote on the Obamacare replacement bill because they do not have enough yes votes to pass it. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had been pushing to get it done before the July 4th recess, but five members of his own party have come out as no votes. Some of them think the bill is too harsh. Others say it doesn't go far enough towards repealing the Affordable Care Act. Yesterday's Congressional Budget Office report said the bill would cost 22 million Americans their health insurance. That just added fuel to the protests that have been happening outside the offices of Republican senators like this one in North Carolina. One of the Republican holdouts explained her position. I will say that I have so many fundamental problems with the bill that have been confirmed by the CBO report that it's difficult for me to see how any tinkering is going to satisfy my fundamental and deep concerns about the impact of the bill. Look, uh, co legislation of, of this complexity uh, almost always takes longer than anybody else would hope, uh, but we're going to press on. We think the status quo is unsustainable for all the obvious reasons we've discussed over and over and over again. And we're optimistic we're going to get to a result that's better than the status quo. President Trump has invited all Republican senators to the White House this afternoon to talk about the bill. We will have an update on that meeting for you on News 10 at 5 o'clock. USA Gymnastics needs, quoting now, a complete cultural change. That's according to a report on the organization's handling of sexual misconduct. It says all members should be required to immediately report suspected sexual abuse to law enforcement. It also recommends USA Gymnastics ban adults from sharing or even being alone in a room with a minor to whom they are not related. The report says adult members should not be allowed to have contact with the athletes outside of their training and competition time. The report was commissioned after former gymnast Rachel Denhollander told the Indy Star that she was sexually abused by former team doctor Larry Nasser. Denhollander and dozens of other women are suing Nasser, USA Gymnastics, and Michigan State University, among others. Nasser is charged in four separate criminal cases. He's accused of sexually assaulting patients in both Ingham and Eaton counties. He's charged with molesting the daughter of a family friend in Ingham County. And he's been indicted on federal child pornography charges. We, of course, will keep tracking those cases for you. The massive cyber attack that started this morning is working its way around the globe this afternoon. Experts say it's similar to the WannaCry attack that happened last month. Both are ransomware that spread using digital break-in tools that were created by the U.S. National Security Agency. Those tools were leaked to the web earlier this year. The hackers lock up whatever files they can, get into, and demand a ransom to unlock them. So far, they've hit a hospital system in Pennsylvania, drug manufacturing, Merck, large foreign oil companies, and a major German shipping firm. We have an update for you on this mulch facility fire we told you about this morning on News 10. Crews working in a small town near the Michigan-Indiana border have gotten the fire under control, but say it could be weeks before it burns itself out. They're still working to figure out how it started. Crews were called to the facility in St. Joseph County yesterday afternoon. One person was treated for breathing in too much smoke. Thieves have hit a fourth local auto dealer but this time police showed up before they got away with anything. News 10's Christopher Lane is at the Candy Ford dealership in Charlotte. 